Hello buddy, my name is Pix and today we're back with another tutorial. So what I'm gonna show in this video is these king glows and how to use them. Now I do want to mention that some of these king glows are from my old tutorials. So as you know, making king glows in Vegas Pro is hard. So you know, I don't have the time to really like experiment and test out all of these king glows. So I took some of the king glows from my old tutorials, I upgraded them and made them a little bit better. Also added new ones. So yeah, that's that with the king glows. And before the video starts, let's aim for 500 likes in this video and let's begin with the tutorial. Now what we're gonna do is find a point where the guy basically pulls out a shotgun and then doesn't edit anymore so something like this as you can see i marked it as you can see pull, he pulls out a shotgun and after that he just kills him there's no other edit and then what you want to do is split on the point then go to video effects and search for twixter pro now what you want to do is go to the point that you split in here and then go 50 frames forward so double click over here backspace plus 50 and click enter and click m to mark it again so this is where our kill will be now drag in your twixer pro onto here and now we can start keyframing the speed percentage so go over here click on this animation block or whatever and go to the first point over here then go three frames forward so with your arrows one two three then add a point and set that to 50 just like that now make these two points to slow fade so right click on this point slow fade right click on that one slow fade then go to the kill so this is basically our marker and then add a point now i want to go seven frames back one two three four five six seven add a point and go on the kill marker again and then go five frames forward one two three four five add a point so we can leave this at 50 uh, go on the middle one and set it to 350 for now and this one we're gonna experiment so before we do anything right click on this point before the middle one slow fade then on this one fast fade in the middle and this one nothing so now what we're gonna do is update this by 0.5 because as you know twix or plug glitches a lot so you want to make sure you update this by 0.5 every single time you update a value so set this to 70.5 and the values should update so let's check for on the kill and as you can see we're overlapping so let's change this from 50 to maybe 25 and then we can maybe see the difference and of course change it to 71 as you can see it's still overlapping so what we can do is maybe set this to 300 just like so and go over here set us like 10 update this and as you can see after updating it we're finally on the kill now for some of you if you're still not on the kill if it's like overlapping what you can do is add a point somewhere around here so somewhere in the middle and then set us to 10 and basically if you go right here and then you move this let's say backwards update this 72 as you can see it will move so if it's overlapping you can do that but for me it is perfect so i don't need to change anything once you have your twix or slow-mo what you want to do is basically hover over it just like so go to file render as make sure these are the settings 60 fps and click render so here we have our rendered file we can replace it with this and now we can make a new video track so i'm gonna show it to mask in vegas pro but personally i like to do it in after effects but i'm not gonna be showing you that because you know it just takes a lot of time anyways what you want to do is split on the marker just like so and then hold control and then drag the sub this will duplicate the two clips just like that so we're gonna mask out this one so there's two type of masks i'm gonna show you one is like a basic one and one is like a harder one so let's start with the basic one so go to pan and crop and enable masking so this tick take that make sure on the first keyframe and then take your uh, pan and crop tool so for some masks the basic mask works but for some mask you must have like a harder mask so a more precise one so what i mean by basic one is this so i'm gonna quickly show you so it's basically masking around um and it's not precise so this and then what you want to do is make the fire type to both and set it to 25 now i don't know how this works i kind of forgot but i think it's uh from 10 to 50 so you can experiment with this but basically once you do that let's say you're applying a skin glow rainbow as you can see it looked like that now of course this looks kind of weird um because of the skin but you basically get the point and then if you want to you know mask more you can maybe move these keyframes like this or if you want to reset it right click reset as you can see to make a point and then you mask out again but yeah that's how you do a basic mask and for the hard one it's uh, basically the same thing it's just that it's more precise and for example this is a harder one of course i i not didn't do a good job but this is what i mean by harder ones so you want to make sure to mask out all of these frames and make sure it looks nice so yeah that's how i mask in vegas pro and i'll be back when i'm done masking 
so once you're done masking here i'm done masking uh, you can apply the preset so we can start with a darken build up so here we have a preset called darken build up if you apply it to the bottom clip as you can see it like slowly darken out and then it will reset to normal values just like so boom and now we can just apply the skin glows so you can pick from these skin glows of course they're not the best we know it is what it is um anyways i'm gonna pick this white outline one if i apply the preset boom here the preset comes so if you go to the presets as you can see they all have this cookie cutter so if you enable this what this does is basically does this as you can see it like kind of fades in from the top just like so so on every skin glow when you apply it make sure to check here and go to cookie cutter and for extra spice i guess you can just fade this in just like so and now if you want to change the color it's really simple what you want to do is search your hue set bright over here and basically drag it over here now as you can see this is white so no colors will change but if you have like a colorful skin glow like purple uh, you can change colors very easily with us and what we can now do is highlight from here to here and render this thing out go to file render as make sure these are the settings and click render and here is our rendered file so we can delete these clips boom boom and then replace it with this so final thing we have to apply is the sack impact or your own impact whichever one works the best for you so i'm gonna go here on the kill on our marker then go 30 frames backward just like so and cut it then apply our sack impact now you want to make sure to disable twixter pro when you apply the impact so here we have twixter pro and just disable it because we already you know did the twixter pro before here is the skin glow and yeah everything works now you can add sound effects and you are done so yeah guys thank you so much for watching the video i know this one was you know a little bit scuffed and the skin glows were not that great but i hope you still enjoyed them and yeah this was pixie thanks so much for watching i'm out